Assalamu alaikum guys in this video we'll talk about sending emails in Laravel in general so let's start first of all I will use a mail trap as my uh, driver for local environment as it mentioned here in Laravel documentation to use it for sending a dummy mailbox sending messages to this dummy mailbox and to use it open mailtrap.io and after logging in using maybe google or github go to email uh, testing here or home right inside home and click start testing after that add project and i will name it uh, laravel for example and the same click add after that we need to add inbox here and i will say there right then we will open this learn inbox to take the credentials and if we open integrations here we will see under php we will see laravel 9 plus any version after or equal to 9 so click copy and inside our dot env file here i will replace them with these credentials now our driver is ready and i need to remove it and now let's start the first thing to generate a new mail class we can use uh, this command called php artisan make mail and the name of the mail and for this uh, lesson i will say send invoice for sending invoices to users maybe for billing and so on so i will create a new mail called send invoice here and now email created under app mail send invoice of php now if we open our app here then mail folder we can see send invoice.php and as we can see we have construct and envelope so let's start with envelope is the main data of the email so the subject of email may be the uh, two parameter to which user or to which email but we can pass it while sending email we can say maybe from right here and it may be a string or address object so we can say here new address using email metaphors here and we can say here laravel boy at me dot com we can say also the a copy of this email and reply to and so on and if you notice here the subject is automatically detected from the class name so we can see here send invoice separated by spaces because the class name is like this but we want to change it send invoice instead of it we can say here a uh, billing for months right and i want to say this months here or specific months and i will send it as a parameter here i will say public string months after that now our envelope or main data is uh, ready right by the way if we open the mail.php inside a config folder in our project here it also contains the configuration of our data which mailer which uh, uh, address also i think yes here from address and by default hello example as we can see here and the name of the sender also so i will override the name by default it's example but i will set it to uh, maybe a uh, laravel boy laravel boy here right and then and now let's set the content of email or the a view or html or even our plain text so by default we send a view any view we want so here i have created a new uh, view inside our resources views under emails it's called invoice.play.php and this month's invoice here simple template or simple view and if we back again to our send invoice i will say send this emails dot here invoice because our uh, view under emails dot view like view method and if we notice here we don't send any uh, data 
or don't passing any data to this view. So if we want to pass data, we may say here with, sorry, with parameter, attach this data also to this view. And I will say this month. And I want to use this month value here. Oh, sorry, it must be an array. I will say here months and I want to display this month name inside my view or so I will say here months to show the month name also inside the view right here is the purpose of sending data or passing data from email to a view right and also we have attachments method and here in my a storage folder if we open it storage and inside app public i have this invoice.pdf here simple file actually this file invo invoice only 15 usd dollar as a pdf and i want to attach it so i will say here using attachment attachment here under mailables not this one and i want to say from storage right I want to take it from a public slash or send public slash invoice dot pdf this file here this one and if you want to use another storage because if I open my file system here is a default a storage is local so I am using my local disk so if you want to send the data from another disk we can say here from storage disk and it's the first parameter as we can see is the disk so it may be a s3 or a public or any disk you have so by default i want to use the default disk that i use so i directly will use from storage right now let's open our controller again now we covered creating a mailable class and also envelope and content and passing data to the uh, view of this content and sending attachment also and now it's time to send the email but maybe before sending the email you want to see the result of that email so for example i will say here user select the first user in my database right and i will say our mail name i will say here return new and our mail name is send invoice or class here right and as you can see it takes parameter so i want to say here now or even we can say format m and then we can say render just maybe a test you know for seeing the result before sending this email so render method here and if we back here to our endpoint and check it, refresh, and here this is its own voice, but I want to display the month name. So it's useful for this case. So I will say M capital, refresh, August. I want actually to display the full uh, name. It's called F, right? So I will use F for it. Refresh, here is Augustus invoice. If you notice, attach and not displayed wire using render and it's okay for us. Now, instead of render, by the way, you can use directly the instance of this uh, email class. So if we click refresh, the same result also. So our mail are or is sent correctly. So now it's time to send the email. So I will say here, mail facade, this one here, and I will say to this user let's say user and i will say send new send invoice email with current months format f and let's return success now let's check our inbox it's completely null or empty now if i refresh my page takes time and then return success and if i go here to my inbox i will refresh here our billing as you can see billing for a month 
August. I know it's not correct anyway. And two, this email to Neva, this one here. Here is our first user in the database, right? And the name is detected automatically from the object here, Snarvel, right? And here is the envelope or envelope Larvel boy that we set inside our uh, send invoice class here envelope from Laravel boy mail and the name is Laravel boy and there is a subject bring for uh, months here and it's plus months name let's continue and here is our view the August this Augustus invoice and if we see it here our attachment or our PDF file so if we click on it we can see invoice.pdf and if I try to download it let's check download it and if I open it the same files that we have in our local also by the way I will make a video about generating a PDFs uh, file using packages using Laravel inshallah and yeah here is the whole idea if you noticed also if we try to send another email it take uh, some times actually which makes user wait so we don't want to make user wait and instead of that sending it directly I will say instead of send directly I will say queue right and the queue runs in background or runs as a job so if I try to refresh again let's change our a queue driver here queue here I will say sync as a default. No, actually, I, okay, I will set to read this. Let's first remove all emails. I will remove all of them. Right. And now refresh. And now I am using Redis. And nothing will be sent unless I run the queue work. So I will say BCU artisan queue work let's see and here send invoice running and it's done another invoice running it's done so back and check again refresh and as we can see without making user uh, waiting so i will retry again work is so fast sending running done let's check we have now three emails here's quickly how to use mails in laravel if you found it useful, support me by clicking on like, share, and subscribe. See you in next videos.